Now let us discuss the mass moment of inertia of thin circular or semicircular plate. So uh, this is the area moment of inertia about the base axis. See x and x y and z axis. So I xx mass will be equal to rho into t i xx area rho into t by r power 4 by 8 rho t by r square by 2 r square by 4 this becomes mass so r square by 4 xx mass which is also equal to yy mass for thin plates i z z of mass equal to i xx of mass plus i yy of mass so m r square by 4 plus m r square by 4 equal to m r square by 2. Is this fine? Okay. So, if we shift this axis to centroidal axis or if we have to find out the mass moment of inertia about the axis passing through the centroid xc, yc and zc. So we need to use parallel axis theorem for that. Let us discuss that now. So I xx base equal to I xx about centroid plus m d square. So what is that now we require? We require this quantity. So I xx bar equal to I xx base minus m d square. What is this d? What is this I x x about B M R square by 4 minus M 4 R by 3 pi R square. So M R square by 4 minus M to 16 r square by 9 by square so m r square by 4 minus 16 by 9 by square this is i x x r i y y bar will be the same of previous m r square by 4 i z z equal to i x x of i y y mass so m r square by 4 minus 9 pi square plus m r square by 4. We will get m r square 1 by 2 minus 16 by 9 pi square. Is this fine?
Thank you.